Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. This is Jonas. This is TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Yeah. Uh, let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. Uh, you should start smoking crack. Um, actually, Jonas, uh, that, that seems like a, a good idea, but uh, I don't think I'll pick it up. I'm a little, a little long in the tooth to be picking up new things like that. Honestly, just. Just, just not, not something I can see myself doing at my age. Long in the tooth? Yes, it's a, uh, an idiom for being old. I'm saying that I'm too old to start smoking, uh, crack cocaine. Yeah, you're pretty old. Feel that way, feel that way. Yeah. So I was wondering, uh, do we have, we, we don't, we don't have a story today? Do we have a Do we have a story at all? No, no story. I'm fine if we don't. We don't have to have a story. I don't think that deserves an answer. Oh, I don't know. That hurts my heart a little bit. I'm a very sensitive guy. Are you sensitive? What cuts down to your core? Uh, what my self worth. Does that keep you awake at night? I don't think I should be talking about my sleep habits with you. You weren't saying that last night. Don't put those words in my mouth. I'm not going to make the classic joke that I could make there. It's far too easy. Uh, I don't think you've ever made a joke in all 500 episodes of the podcast. Well, that's uh, it's quite a revelation for me to hear you. That uh, that's your perception of my contribution to the uh, the administration. Yeah, it is. It is about the equivalent of Jesus rising. So you're right. It's pretty. It's pretty fair. That's a fair assessment. I have to. Yeah. Uh, when was the last time you read the Bible? The Bible. Wow. I'm a big fan of the one verse where it speaks about uh, Jesus going after one lamb and he leaves behind 99 in order to get that one lamb because that lamb needs help. That's so nice. It's not necessarily about the many. When one is in need, you go after that one. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sentiment. What's your favorite Bible verse? Would you ever wear a wool coat? Um, I don't know, know if Jesus would uh, agree with it. Honestly, I think I think it's somewhere in, in Ephesians that that's a sin. If Jesus wore a wool coat, what color wool coat would Jesus wear? purple definitely purple jesus is a purple guy look at his eyes um, white jesus of course what black. color coat would what color coat would black jesus wear <laughs> yellow <laughs> definitely yellow is that racist uh that i asked you that question it, it, okay so wondering is not racist asking it is no, it's it's uh it's just that uh you know it looks the contrast looks good apparently like you'll see a lot of like uh black film actresses wear brighter colors like that yellow oranges goes good with our skin you know uh like what 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 works good with your skin what's your favorite color to uh accentuate your your subtle hues uh what is the color of tears uh. Oof. Did you did, did you say the color of tears? Yeah, that's that's all I wear all the time. You wear tears. You Don't judge me because I'm crying right now. I'm I'm curious about your your tear your tears clothing. Um have No, you, there's tears in it. There's tears in it? It's pronounced the same as English. Oh, it's it's like a it's it's a French thing, I, I assume. Did you see like Nirvana on TV in the nineties? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Courtney Love, yeah. It's like that. 
Oh, okay, okay. So it's just kind of like teenage angst personified, kind of like in your clothes. I like clothing with a feel. I can understand that. It's it's an artwork. It's an art form. What's your favorite piece of clothing to feel? A fresh pair of boxers right out of the dryer. Nothing like it. Oh, hot hotness on your crotch is where you're at. I don't, don't like it when you say it like that. But did I offend you? <laughs> that is that is a part of it. Did, did I offend you with that statement? I, I, you know, I just prefer you keep my crotch out of your mouth. I've never done that. Don't put that in my mouth. Don't put my crotch in your mouth and me putting your crotch in my mouth in my mouth either. I'm going to have to say I'm uncomfortable with this, with this line of conversation. I don't ever want to talk about your conversations again. But no, it's just, you know, the, the feeling of that's, that's your most sensitive area. So to get, you know, that degree of temperature change, it, it, it feels invigorating. Let you know you're alive, you know, like taking a cold shower. If you were a fan of SpaghettiOs and then they became square, would you be a fan of those still? They'd be spaghetti squares. Squares. Oof. And I'm not talking about ravioli. No, because they'd be hollow, right? So I don't. It know. looks just like a circle, but it's a square. I don't know if that. I don't know if that campaign would would do as well. I really think that the choice to go with circles was really revolutionary. Mm. It's in, it's ingenious. I, it's, it was always weird to me that the the soup water that came with spaghettios did not taste like tomatoes i used to put milk in it oh that's it's a brave choice it's a brave choice i would take a can of spaghettios and then i would put milk just a little bit just to make sure the color changed and then i would eat it that's not a lie I miss I miss the Tiger King. I mean, the color that I made the spaghettios was kind of the same shade as the tiger, so I understand. Yeah, but it reminded me of thinking of a bowl of spaghettios with milk in it made me think of uh, the Tiger King. I don't know. Do you think he would have lasted working on his ranch? The spaghettios ranch? No, the Tiger King ranch. Chef Boy RD on the Tiger King ranch. Yeah, could you have worked for Chef Boy RD? He was probably racist because it was back in the day. What about the Tiger King? He's, He's racist, racist too. <laughs> Damn it! Never, never, never meet your heroes. What if you found out that your hero wasn't really a hero? I mean, I'm finding that out today. Mm. How does your heart feel? Dead. Mm. Welcome to my world. Is there anybody in a moment where I felt alive? I remember when I was born. The visions haunt me at night. Yeah, that man shoving his face in your face like that? That's probably scary. I, I, I think we remember that day differently. I almost drowned the day that I was born. It was a tub birth. Your mother was a nautical woman. She's a radical. Oh, you know what that buzzer means? That means we don't have any more time. But I'm a rebel, so we're going to talk for a few more seconds. Or I'll talk to myself. It's fine. I like tubs. And we're out of time. Go to thecrazytown.com. That was a good conversation. I didn't like it at all. All right, I'm Jonas. TNT. Uh, I guess we're out.